right then guys how you doing so a bit of a different video for you today and this is what i did more of on the channel memberships just like running commentary through a video in real time so here we are with gas speedy there on the left he's a legend and what we're just on with now is just building the corns up we are working with solid concrete block here they are seven newton so they're pretty heavy pretty dense block and what we're building here in the middle is the partition wall so it basically divides the two houses together from what one from each other you know so as you can see we've got all our blocks loaded up there and our mortar board set up the actual cavity on these partition walls is 100 mil Gaz has already finished his corner because it's Gaz Speedy in it. So he's just jointing his corner up. He's never, never still, never stood around Gaz. He's always doing something. There's me tinkering around with the level, just trying to get it all plumb. Because the corners are really important with anything. Same as your brickwork, anything you're building, your corners set the tone for the whole wall. So it's got to be plumb and it's got to be gauge. And you might just see me just run my travel on the top of this block when I put it on just to check if it's gauge which just it means the right height gauge so because the other other block wall on the other side is to the right height then I'll just check my block against that and we're just putting, you just saw me put a little piece of mesh in there that's called X-Met or Brick Mesh or Brick Tor it's got a few different names but basically that's just to tie it into the Thermalite block there's a lot of complex things I could tell you but it's very hard to describe it but while I'm just speaking so yeah that just basically ties the corner together because they're two different materials. There's the last block, and there I'm just checking that it's level with the other one. See? A couple of tinks, and we should be ready to set the line up, really. We've got our ties in. Every two course, your ties, every two course. So you could just see them. I mean, it's hard to point them out, but you can just see them. If you see where the insulation finishes, go two courses up. And you just see the silver ties. Wall ties. And that's pretty self explanatory. They just tie walls together. Here we are setting the old string line up. And look at those blue skies. We had some this was actually last week I think. So. Just bobbing my brick on there. Just to set the line off onto the right height. You don't have to do that. But sometimes when you put your pin in, you can only get it in a, in a certain way. So that's why I did that. As you can see on Gaz's side, he's put in okay and it's worked okay. Just spreading through now.
There's Tomahawk. The Beast. AKA Collision. <laughs> I've just taken my top off there because it was a bit warm, so I just cut that bit because you don't want to see that, do you? I think we were just talking about wrestling because. <laughs> Funnily enough, I know it might sound sad, but all three of us like WWE wrestling. <laughs> so we're always talking about wrestling, it's funny. Tom Hart was just saying that one night he went out with all his rugby mates dressed as WWE wrestlers, and he was Brett the Hitman Hart, so we were, we were having a laugh about that. <laughs> Ultimate Warrior were mad, weren't they? Fucking hell, he was. I loved Ultimate Warrior, mate. Who's coming fucking shaking ropes? Yeah. No, I'm just saying, I loved Ultimate Warrior. He just shit. Used to shake the ropes. Sadly died a few years ago. It was me with the Diet Coke moment. <laughs> Getting some more rock wool insulation into the cavity. And it's time to put the line up. Line up. In case you're wondering why I'm starting in the in the middle, I think you're a right-handed bricklayer. You always start from the left and work left to right. When you're spreading, it's just easier than coming back on yourself. You know, working right to left. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think it's easier. <coughs> So just put a nice bed of mortar on. gentle wiggle, wiggle waggle and it'll find its level because they're quite heavy, these, well they're, they're quite heavy these blocks to be fair so a little bit of a wiggle and they just <coughs> level down to the line sometimes you have to knock them as you, you'll probably see in a bit So just while we're talking about wrestling, is there anybody out there who is a WWE fan? And are you looking forward to WrestleMania?
I think it's every lad's guilty pleasure, to be fair. Right, so that's another course done with. Time to put the line up. Fill in a few joints there. Just making the guys are making the line a bit tighter there. You don't want it slack, do you? Really? You should always make sure your lines sufficiently tight. Tight like a tiger. I should just quickly add as well, guys, that when you're building a wall with this material, the concrete solid block, 7 newtons, you should only go up about, I'd suggest 6 courses really, because anything more than that, you're risking it falling over, basically. <laughs> You'll see uh, the guys before us, they only put 4 courses on there, which is good. I think it was us actually, I'm not sure. Anyway, they only put four course on to be safe, and we're putting four on top of that, you see. If you put all eight on, it's really risky. It can be done, but it's so risky, and it can you're at risk of it blowing down, and there's already been a, somebody have a blowdown on this job, and that <laughs> somebody asking it in the comments, what's a blowdown? It's basically when a wall blows, blows over. So you can't predict if it's going to be windy through the night and it, it needs time to dry. In the summertime you might get away with it because it's really hot in the day and obviously your mortar's drying quicker. So you might get away with it. But winter time and you know it's unpredictable the weather. So rather be safe than sorry and don't be greedy. I think there's another video on the internet, it's gone quite viral where a guy just gently pushes his level against the wall and you see it fall over from like an overhead view, do you know the one I'm talking about? And everyone's just like, what the hell's going on? But yeah, you see how gently it just, it, it took a little gentle tap to, to knock the whole wall over. So if you think what wind can do, yeah, just be careful. Gaz is using a Marshall Town Trowel as well, and it's really worn, it's like my old one, you know, really worn, but it's like when, it, when you've had it for a while you don't want to let it go, but to be fair it's still fast anyway, it doesn't really matter with Gaz. He's fast and good, he's a, he's a good bricky, really good to work with, good lad, never stops. There's the final block of that course. A little scrape, a little wiggle and a little scrape. And we're on to the top now. Gaz is going to put the line over and then into the back of the block. You can't really see there. But yeah, so you don't risk pulling blocks over like I'm going to do here, I put it in the joint. I thought I could get away with it, but I can't. You see, I'll put it in the joint, and, and then I decided to just go over the back of the block and put it in the back.
We did that in synchro then, I only just noticed that. <laughs> Synchronised spreading. <laughs> Class. No, oh, he's ahead of me there. Oh, quick scoop. It's mad watching it back, really, because you don't really think about it. You're mostly just in autopilot, I guess. I guess it's just second nature now. You don't really think about it. You just do everything naturally. It's like driving in it when you first start driving. You just everything becomes natural and you do it unconsciously, don't you? The handbrake and the gear change and the indicators, you don't even think about it. It's just second nature. You do it that many times. But I can understand that to somebody who's never brick laid before or hasn't seen it before, it might look difficult. It is, but I mean, plenty of practice, same with anything. Practice at anything. You can be good at it. I'm not saying we're good, by the way. towards the final new block now. Two left, is there? Or three? Yeah, one last one to go. There we have it. Easy peasy. Quick joint up now. Just do all the perps first. Don't want to say I'm patronising, but perp is short for perpendicular. <laughs> and then you have the bed joints, which are the horizontal joints. Because they are the bed of the block or the brick well there you have it thanks very much for watching guys i really appreciate it um a few more videos to come like this and yeah thanks again for watching if you made it to the end let me know if you enjoyed it if you like content like this you know i like to switch it up and keep evolving the channel and evolving the videos really appreciate all the support and that with the academy and just endless nice comments and yeah we're trying to kick it off the grain it's going to be a massive task to do it but yeah I've lots of meetings with people and there's a lot of help out there so that's that's good anyways i'll see you in the next one guys cheers